mchakato wa Tanzania Tour Guides Award kama tulivyoambiwa hii ni mara ya pili mkajana alifanyika Arusha tukapata Tour Guide bora kwa, kwa mwaka mzima ukiwa okay, mabalozi kwa mwaka huo mwaka huu tukajiongeza kidogo maana hichi kitu ni bado ni kipya na tunazidi kukibuni na kukimalisha kila mwaka tunavyozidi kwenda na tutategemea sana maoni yenu jinsi gani yanaweza kuboresha zoezi hili labda niweze kuwatambua watu ambao wamefanikisha hili zoezi tuna bodi ya Tanzania Tour Guides Award mm? katika bodi hiyo imeundwa na watu tofauti tofauti tuna mwenyekiti wetu anaitwa Mr. Velasto Izoba yeye ni mwalimu wa utalii kutoka Profession Tour Guides School pale Arusha but mbaya leo hatuko naye hapa ana udhuru kuna bwana Moses Njole mimi hapa ambaye ni secretary to the board of PA and chief judge tuna la Mr. Shelutete kutoka Tanapa akiwa kama member na Mr. Paul Fiso kutoka Ngorongoro Conservation Area tuna Elrehema Maturo kutoka TTB tuna Ms. Beatrice Kesi kwa Tanapa na Mr. Arnold Makinda na pia Mheshimiwa Nyalandu naye ni mojawapo wa board members. Tuna judges watano ambao walishiriki mchakato mzima. Chief judge nilikuwa mimi Mr. Moses Njole, tulikuwa na Mr. Izoba, tulikuwa na Mr. Amos Lufumbilo, Mr. Franklin Alexander na Dr. Nzela. Kama wapo naomba wasimame tuweze kuwatambua. Tafadhali. Ya hao ndio walikuwa majaji wetu ambao tulishikia nao kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho wa hili zoezi kuna management team ambayo inaongozwa na bwana Sado Kimgeta akiwa kama ni chairman wa hiyo management team afu pia ni founder wa hii Tanzania Tour Guides Award kuna Ali Mtemvu kama secretary tuna Nixon Masawe yeye ni co-founder na pia ni member tuna Alex John yeye ni operation manager ni member tuna Dela Ngosi kama ni event coordinator ni member pia tuna Hope Tumaini Soyale na mama wanaweza Guess who's the winner? Number one, the glory Tobias. You must be thinking about how you go like this when you buy it. So let's see my mama now. Is it? When I'm dead, I'm gonna shout. Can you hear me? hifadhi za taifa Tanzania. Um, matukio maporeni mengi lakini tukio ambalo sito lisahau ni ambalo tulikuwa research na mgeni. Um, ilikuwa tunafanya research ni mgeni wa kike kutoka Ufilipino. I mean um, Portuguese ambaye alikuwa anafanya research ya nyani. So tukio tunafanya kazi zetu za kawaida ikatokea tumekimbizwa na tembo which was very very dangerous. Kwa kawaida wanyama tunawasoma mnapokuwa mnafanya tunapewa mafunzo na hifadhi za taifa kwa ajili ya jinsi gani kufanya hizi kama ni walking au kutembea na wageni. Ila sometimes inatokea kwa sababu mnyama pia ana tabia zake na mood kama ambavyo sisi tunazo. Sasa bahati mbaya ile group ilikuwa na watoto ambao ni wadogo sana na sisi tulikuwa kwenye research kama kawaida. So fundo ikawa imetokea tumekimbizwa na tembo ambayo kwa kweli it was hard sababu it was very close by the time we noticed kwamba um, tembo yuko karibu yani. Yani tayari alisha charge kwa sababu hakuwa anapiga kelele ama nini. So I just had to kumwambia mgeni tu akimbie nibaki nyuma kidogo sababu nilikuwa na silaha na tunapewa mafunzo ya silaha jinsi ya kuweza kumwokoa mgeni 
Kwa nika wanajitahidi tu kutafuta njia kwa sababu usitaki kumua mnyama pia. Kwa nika wanajaribu kutafuta njia tu ya kwa void ili mnyama asife lakini yet sisi tuweze ku survive. But mbaya mgeni akawa alidondoka. Yaani hapo ndo palipo kwa pagumu. Unajua mgeni akidondoka wakati mnakimbia na kuna hatari hilo ndatizo. Kwa hiyo kile kitendo ambacho niliweza kugeuka kurudi kumrudia mgeni wakati akiwa karibu sana. That one I think God kila siku. Lakini pia I think um, tanapa kwa mafunzo ambao wamenipa ya kuweza kuhendo ile sila. Niliweza kumrudia mgeni as fast as I could. Nika mnyanyua and I went on fighting with the tembo bila kutaka kumuumiza sasa kwa sababu bila hivyo mambo hayaende. I had to find maeneo ambayo hayawezi kumletea um, maumivu badala yani kwamba yatamfanya aweze kushindwa ku survive. So ikabidi ni ni pige kwenye masikio. Kwa hiyo alipopata ile reaction kwamba kuna resources zimepita kapiga kelele. Wakati mimi nimemnyanyua mgeni nilistuck kwenye kichaka. Kuna miti tunaita wait a bit yani subiri kidogo kwa Kiswahili. Kwa hiyo ile nishika so sikuweza move yani nikabaki face to face na tembo that thing is huge kwa kukiona mbele yako um, it's scary yani it's scary unaweza kutoka hapo ukasema you never work again lakini those are just part of challenges ambazo watu wengi wanakutana nazo pia ila it's so good tukiwa na arrangements ambao wako train so i think tanapa kila siku kwa sababu bila mimi kuwa trained kiasi kile nisingeweza kupona au yule mgeni kupona na I think them again kwa sababu baada ya hiyo walinipeleka shule. So so far nimetoka shule na nilipeleka na Tanapa kwa kama kuni motivate kwa what I did kwa huyo mgeni.